What's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And today I'm gonna to be doing uh, the review on this stool that I'm sitting on right now. It's the Buyer of Maine Tri-Light Stool. The company is Buyer of Maine. I bought this online, I believe from EMS, Eastern Mountain Sports, for $24.95 plus shipping. And I really, really like this stool. I've been using it for, I don't know, I wanna say five months now, which is why I'm doing a review on it. I've had it out here long enough and used it enough that I feel I'm doing a review on it, not just you know an overview of something new. Uh, but some of the details of the stool, now this is a smaller version. There's an XL version that's larger and can accommodate heavier loads for you larger people. Um, I'm about 160, 165 pounds, and this version is weighted, or excuse me, rated to about 200 pounds. Um, it's a steel tube design. There's a, pl a plastic hub, and I'll show you all the details once, you know, once uh, Sony comes in with the camera. But when it breaks down, it's you know 13 inches long. It weighs 21 ounces, it's super compact, and just really versatile in its ability to basically give me a seat off the ground anywhere I go, considering that the terrain's relatively flat. And there's some other stool designs that I really um, you know, wasn't into, and there's a reason why I chose this one, and you really can't see it at this moment, but I'll show you specifically how it looks, why I chose this, and it actually is very comfortable to get off the ground, get my legs bent and get it sitting right next to a fire and it's cold today this feels like probably one of the coldest days we've been filming feels like it air temperatures in the teens there's wind blowing it's blue it's really clear it's dry um, and just really nice to have this tool to get off the ground and get as close as the fire as I want all right so let's show you the stool I'll let you see it on the ground, see how it sits, Sony. You can get this, get some frames of that. So basically, there's three legs right here. And this cloth, you know, it'll work as a little gear storage, but mostly it's just to keep this from sort of putting due stress on this hub right here. And I'll get back on the stool and show you. There is a little bit of flex and play in this. So there's, so I sort of have some, uh, if you want to purchase this, sort of some cautions of how you should or shouldn't use this. But you have this hub right here, you have the three legs coming down here, like I said. I'll show you the, the, the sort of the feet. They're black, it might not stand out. But I think this is a newer sort of feature on these stools before they might have just been the pole coming down. But with this little sort of, um, you know, ex expanding its uh, sort of surface area, spreading the weight of your body over this little bit wider of a foot, it won't sink in the ground as much. And then you have this really nice seat, and this is about 17 inches right here it's ripstop a thicker thicker weight ripstop and the reason why I chose this stool you see it again is that I have a flat surface to sit on and I've been or you maybe have seen and I've seen them and looked at some of those stools where it's kind of like a tripod except the lashings in the middle and then you have the three legs come out you know lash in the middle and the three legs come out and you sort of sit in between the three, the three legs coming up. And that, stuff, that stool, that style of stool is really not comfortable for me to sit on for extended periods of time. But this stool is definitely, definitely comfortable. The disassembly is pretty easy. First thing you can do, push down that. Three legs fold up. Pretty easy. And all I like to do is put that in between my legs and sort of pinch it. And then right here, how the seat attaches to these two arms, these upper arms. You basically grab here, there's a rod that's running through here that holds the seat. And basically what you want to do is grab it on both sides like this, put your thumbs down on this red pole, which I believe is steel tubing, and then just push over and it comes off that lip. Keep that down here and do the same thing on the other side. I mean it literally seconds to put this up, I'm just showing you on camera. Do the same thing. And this all stays on it. Back up. Basically what I want to do then is just fold these down and meet them to the legs like such. And then grab the material of the seat. So we'll just wrap that around everything. I have it like this. 
Grab this little nylon bag. I don't know if it's nylon. Looks like it. A little stuff sack. Super easy, right? Even on this really cold day. No issue with dexterity to get this down, get this broken down and put away. That simple. And to put it up, just reverse those steps. Try to do it quick, I know. Stoney's hand's frozen, his exposed hand. Everyone should give him a nod on this video. It's cold out today. He's got an exposed hand filming. Push the seat up, put the legs in between. Come around. Pop that into it here. Here it snap. Turn around the other side of the seat. Put it in there. Push to hear that snap. Open up the legs. And right here we have the logo, the buyer main. And there is a forward facing leg. And this is the sort of face you want as you sit under on it. You want this forward leg underneath you as opposed to having two. You want to make sure this one's in front of you. Sit down, spread out. Boom. There's one more thing I want to add about this stool. And, you know, it's not as thick, you know, or as sturdy, I guess. Not sturdy. There's a word I'm looking for, but the point is I have to be a little bit careful with this because it's so thin and all that stress is in that hub that I was referencing a few times before is that when I move a little bit side to side, there's play. And it's never been an issue and it's never got more than it has in, in the beginning when I first bought this. It's never sort of increased the amount of play that's in there, but it's still I'm really conscious that I'm not just twisting and flexing on that hub while I'm in the stool. I'm, I'm being really conscious that I'm aware of that. Now that might turn you off, that's fine. I'm not saying even a stool is necessary. Just the convenience and the versatility to be able to sit pretty much anywhere. I don't have to wait for a log to find a place to sit down. I've sat so long on the ground through leisure and work, taking so many naps, spine fused with the earth on the ground, and there's nothing wrong with sitting on the ground, but for just the convenience of being able to get off the ground, bend my legs, even when it's cold like this, get off the ground. It's not replacing a, a wool blanket in the winter to be able to sit down and stay insulated off the ground, but it's just very, very convenient piece of equipment. So I hope you liked the video. Um, again, I would like you just, to th I'd like to thank my brother he films out here in the cold and you never see what he's going through on the other side of the camera, hand exposed to work the focus, all of that. And he's, you know, it's cold out here today. So I just want to thank him for always doing the things that you don't see behind the scenes that I do. I'd like to thank my brother. Thanks brother. If you have any questions about this stool, let me know. Let me know what you thought about the video. I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, this is everything. It's Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. I hate the turtles.